down. It's going down. something for you. Actually, this is actually kind of cool. Ah, where is it? Bam. Ooh, yeah. I got a little gift for you. Look at this. Those are cool, no? I like that. You got a, like a little plastic thing. One second. I just got the mate. Look at that. Bam. Here, that's for you. Those are cool, no? Yeah, support your boss and their keychains. Yeah. Alright, let's go. Make sure, like, they just walk out without nobody noticing us. Alright, but we'll keep it real casual. Yeah, they just walk out, like, yeah. we're just going for a, for a quick ride. Yeah. Alright, let's see. So, Caden, what are we doing today? I don't know, Patrick, what are we doing today? I, uh, you know, I'm just a very nice guy, and I, uh, I decided to surprise everybody at RPM with a little gift. So, uh, we're on our, our way to pick them up. I, uh, I'll give you a hint. You don't know what it is, but I'll give you a hint. Actually, you know what it is. We plan this together, right. yeah. It was actually funny how we got the sizes. So, anyways, we'll have to tell that story. Isn't we uh, should we should we just tell them what we're buying or? Yeah, I mean, why not? Right? Okay, so we um, we're buying every single person that works at RPM. We're buying them a pair of matching uh, Easy's, the new Adidas Easy's. I don't even know how to say that. Is that how you say it? I think it's easy. I'm easy, sure. easy. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know what shoes, but I'm not a shoe guy. Yeah, I'm not a shoe guy, but. Uh, they're actually, you know, everybody knows what they are. It's a, it's a cool little gift. They, uh, they've been working really hard at the shop, so they deserve it. And uh, I got a, I got a friend. His name is Scotty. I met him at the gym. We work out together, and uh, he has this place called uh, PCH LA at the Galleria Mall. Super dope uh, shoe and T-shirt and every single type. Thing you want to buy, they have it. I don't even know what they're called, like high pissed. Is that what they say? Yeah, high pissed. Is that what it is? Yeah, anyways, he has a pretty cool store. He's a nice guy. We just met not too long ago. He's uh, he's like me, like self made, uh, came from nothing. So, I've never been to his store, so I'm kind of excited. He uh, it's kind of hard to find. Uh, I think we got was it a uh, eight pairs or ten pairs? How many was it? Eight or I think ten? It was eight. I could be wrong, but... I think it's eight. It was, it was kind of hard to uh, to get uh, eight pairs uh, of the same shoe. More that they just came out, so everybody wants them. So, Scotty, big shout out to Scotty. He uh, he made it happen. It's kind of hard because the Victor is like size 12 or 13, so nobody has that size. So we uh, Scotty made it happen. So thank you, Scotty. That was nice. Are we linking him in the description or anything like that? Yeah, yeah, okay. we'll uh, we'll put uh, his shop. They're actually, dude, they have like, our YouTube channel sucks. Yeah. Just, I mean, I, I don't even know if people can understand my English. They can. But, <laughs> but uh, we might have, have to put the subtitles under, underneath. Anyways, but uh, they have a pretty cool YouTube, dude. He sent it to me the other day, we were talking about it, and uh, it's actually really cool. Like, they're the cool boys. They're the cool YouTube boys. We're just uh, over here trying. But uh, anyways, let's see what happens. Scotty. What's up, bro? Hey. Yeah, we're here. Where, where's your store at? Third floor food court next to McDonald's. Ah, we'll be there like in five minutes. I got you. Alright, see you soon. Bye. It's a nice store. 
very nice door. Never been here actually. What are you looking for? Scotty? What's that? Patrick. Patrick? Yeah. Is this cool? Is this a cool store? I don't know any of this stuff in here, but I'm sure it's like super expensive. Oh. What's up, brother? This What's is up, the guy. Man. How's it going? Yeah, how you, What's good, man? How you guys doing? What's up, this, Scotty? This is the hookup for any shoes. I am the hookup. Have you actually showed them around the store? Yeah, no. Maybe we can do some, awesome, you can do dude. some like B-roll afterwards or yeah, something. Yeah, like that. yeah dude, this is awesome. Oh, yeah. Try to get some stuff. Yeah, thanks, it's man. Cool, dude. Been here uh, almost three years in October, so Very started nice. with this room, knocked the wall down, created this room. So and then us, knocked up? another wall down and created another so, room. I don't know any of these. I know a little bit. It's a whole other world. I know, I, you, you're the shoe guy, I'm the car guy. So basically, I do retail and resale. And I do retail brands on the front end, which is called Please Come Home. And then the back end, everything that you see in plastic and all the shoes on the wall would be resale. So you, you got Please your own Come Home, right. selection. You got your own clothes. Uh, so for retail, it's more or less like exclusive streetwear brands just like there's exclusive resale brands like Bape, Supreme, Off-White nice. there's exclusive retail brands like Billionaire Boys, Ice Cream, Chinatown, Pump in LA which I have the Billionaire Boys. right so those are like exclusive accounts to where like not everybody in the city is allowed to carry these retail brands so BBC there's only three people in Dallas that carry it uh, three people in Dallas that carry it uh, Humph in LA, there's like two people in Dallas that carry it and so on and so forth for all the retail and then the resale is basically if you can get your hands on it and sell it for a higher price the than Yeezys you can. Yeezys, Off-White, I can't believe you were able to get me all, all matching yeah, pairs. Yeah, definitely. Took a minute to get all the sizes but uh, size 12 that. was the hardest. What size are you? Um, are you the 12? I'm a, no, I'm a 10. Oh, you're the 10. Yeah, okay. my manager is a 12. Alright, well, took yeah. a minute to get the managers in but we got <laughs> it. It's here. Let's, uh, let's go in the back and show you. We're we going to the VIP section? Yeah. What's up, man? Bro. What's up, man? Dude, so what's up in here? What's, uh, what's like a crazy shoe you have? Mm. Like, what's like we can price wise? Take, next time or whenever we leave, I'll take y'all to the private selection, which is basically considered about a million dollar sneaker room. And it's on the other end, and we'll go in there and I'll show you some really cool stuff. A million dollars in sneakers. Okay. So, here we have Boom. the full size run that you asked for. Eight, nine and a half, ten, eleven, Two, and four, twelve. Six, eight. Bam. So perfect. For those of you who are wondering what shoe, I mean, is this going to come out before you give it to them or no? No. Uh, You're going to no. film yeah, giving we're it giving to them it to, and all yeah, that kind right of stuff away. too. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, so for those of y'all who are wondering, man, what did Patrick get? He got the new Mono Ice. Ah. So this is the newest 350 that he's dropped. This is also the first time that he's done like a breathable tech so he's like material. The new, new. Yeah, the new new. Oh, wow. The newest one that comes out after this doesn't come out to the end of August, which is the light and it's color changing, the stripe color changes. And Scotty got us freaking eight of them. All got matching. Eight of them, man. <laughs> Definitely a hard thing to do. It was, uh, I feel like you thought I was forgot about you because hey, he asked me and then I just didn't respond for I, a couple weeks and he's like, hey man, what's up? And I was like, I'll let you know. I'll be honest. I did think he forgot about me. Nah, I'm just, I met him at the gym like I was telling you earlier. And I was like, ah, he probably not going to remember. Or so it's just one of those things where it takes time to find that many all at Bet. once. I had it at one point and then when I came to ask, the 12 was sold. So I was like, you know what, I'm just going to put the other ones aside. We'll have them stashed and then when the 12 comes in, we'll be able to do it. Appreciate so it, Mono Ice. It's the first tech breathable material that he used. If you can see, it's got like a more breathe to it. It's actually it seemed like super more like an athletic wear. Still got the Ultra Boost sole, which is one of the most comfortable soles to me on the planet on a shoe. And it's still got the same 350 silhouette. They're actually pretty cool looking too. Super dope, dope, man, super dope. You can see it's a sea of shoes everywhere. If you look back here, you got more shoes, more shoes. I got three warehouse. You can go back there, it's cool. So I got three warehouse workers that work seven days a week. Three guys that are back here that basically audit, organize, run down, and grab shoes as they're selling for us because so they know where everything those is. Those shoes that you got me, if you put them like for sale, how long will it take you to like sell out of those shoes? So the concept is we try to keep the Yeezy styles on the shelf as much as we can to where to the point to where it becomes too expensive to try to get them. So that's why like when shoes release 
years down the road, I don't stock them anymore because there's no real resale value because the price is already so high to buy. Yeah. If I were to add a resale value on top of that, it would more or less not sell. That's what I kind of do with cars. Because so, you know, like the new C8 Corvette, I ordered six of them. Well, like I ordered them to sell it. Right, and I'm everybody. sure like five, six years down the road, it's like you can't even get them for that price anymore. The prices are too high for the price that you're getting them, and then to add money on, it just doesn't make any yeah, sense. Yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty similar to... And so that's kind of how, how this works. So, these are newer styles, and then as you make your way around, you know, you got older styles. So like, these came out two years ago, and that's why I only have four or five pairs left, because it's really hard to find these shoes now for a decent price. So the older, better price. the more expensive. The older the more it goes up, and the, hard, uh, the, the harder and more rare it is to find because people are buying it and yeah. they're putting on their foot and then it's been worn. You yeah. know, all my shoes are brand new. So everything you sell is brand new, new used. Brand new, that's wow. the, and that's something we take pride in. Because not many, a lot of stores sell used, right? Stores sell used, majority of stores sell used. I only sell dead stock, dead stock meaning that it's brand new. And then I also, I'm not a consignment store, so I own every shoe. That's good. Most stores that you see in the US or in Dallas are all consignment shops. They sell shoes for the people and make a small percentage on top. Here, we pay for the shoe up front and we own every single shoe. That's kind of like RPM, a car dealership. A lot of stores are consignment. We, we, own, the, we own it all. Like. You know, like we know the prices. Yeah, we don't for have sure. To ask I'm, able to, I'm able to wage it however I want yeah, on exactly. people who come in and try to buy bulk or a lot at once. It makes it, it makes it easier for sure. So there's about 1,500 shoes on the shelves, including all the walls, and who knows how many thousands of shoes in stock in the back. Of so I actually got those shoes, shoes in there. Somebody gave them to me. Who the bio hacks? I don't know what they're called, <laughs> yeah. but I got those. That's the bio hacks. So as the shoes become more rare and more expensive, they move into the display cases. So a lot of these shoes were at once on the shelf, and as they started to sell and become more expensive, they go into the so glass. This is the cool stuff. Right. Well, and this then, is the, uh, the private. And then when we go into the private selection, those are shoes that more or less automatically go straight into the glass because they already start off as expensive as this. So let's take our way up there. We got a key train. I like how you did the green Yeah, I actually did it all myself. Really? Me, my dad, and Larry. That's awesome. So this, this, is, is, cool this is the private selection. Uh, it's going to be more rare sneakers. Probably pretty more or less a million dollar sneaker room. If you were to count like the multiple size runs of everything, you can so tally it all up. It'd be about a million dollars. What's your rarest? Uh, there's a few different rare ones. We can go over a couple of them. So the most rare shoe that we carry is the Justin Timberlake. It's the second most rarest Jordan one on the planet. The last one sold at the Sotheby's auction for 15,000. They only come in a size 10 or a 10 and a half, which is Justin Timberlake size. And there's only 14 of them. So if I were to sell this, I'd sell it for about 20 bands. Wow. So I didn't know that. $20,000 sneaker right here. You want to get a cool zoom and in of it? That's one of our cars we sell. <laughs> yeah, you could go get a Rolex with that. Yeah, two of them. <laughs> I, uh, oh, let's I see what else we got. I sell shoes, because I buy cars over there. These are the CPFM Dunks, Cactus Plant Flea Market. They are authenticated by real Swarovski crystals. So each one is a real Swarovski crystal. These were also very rare. They were one, you could only win them off an email raffle. There was no other release anywhere in the world. And so you couldn't even buy them. You have to win them. You have to win them and then buy them if you want. So they retail for like five fifty, and these resell anywhere from three to six thousand dollars. So you have to win the raffle. Then if you win it, you're like, okay, I want to buy it. Then you can go and buy it. Oh, but you wow. have thirty minutes to respond to the email. If you don't respond thirty minutes, and then that's they it. send it to somebody else. And Larry, my business partner, hit it and forgot and didn't check his email and it came in. So he checked it out like 45 minutes later and he didn't do So it. you guys lost one card? Yeah, he lost uh, it. So these retail anywhere from three to 6,000. If you get close, like this one's a real sparkly yeah, shoe. That's a lot of shine. It hits real nice in the light. So majority of these shoes are all rare. They all sell out. They're all limited. And basically they all go immediately behind the glass because it's one of those situations where I don't want a lot of people touching them. I know these are the J Balvin ones. J. I do know that. J Balvin. J Balvin. Bad Bunny. Ah. Uh, this is a brand called Union Los Angeles. This is Cause. You ever heard of Cause? Yeah, I the love Cause, Cause dolls. I have a, some Cause in my house. The Cause doll in the back. How much is that? 
3700. This is the alternate colorway, so the black version. I like I like the gray ones. That's a really cool. And then if you look closely, you can see it's got the sketches on the fabrics of the hands. Oh, that's cool. And then the X is on the back, and then inside the sole, you can see it has the little hand logos from his companion dolls. This is awesome, man. Original Yeezys, Travis. These are all Travis Scotts. Travis Scotts. And there's a lot of different shoes in here. There's a lot of dope heat. A bunch of cool shoes, Grateful Dead, Supreme, Off Whites. Off Whites. These are pretty expensive too, so right? These whole top rows are hot top rows off whites. Oh, I have those. I have those. The Converse Off Whites? Yeah, I have right. those. I, uh, I went to a uh, uh, sneaker con. Is that what it's called? Yeah, sneaker con. I, I, I bought them over there. One of the big, this one that just passed? Yeah, they went in Dallas. I spent $100,000 cash at that event. If you go to my YouTube. You go to my YouTube channel, Private Selection, you'll see our sneaker con episode. It's got like 130,000 views on it, but we brought 100K cash and blew it on six hours. This guy's got a cool YouTube channel. We have to learn, we have to learn from there. They definitely got a cool YouTube channel. My man. videos got like Shit 20 views. It's all good. Okay, it's all good. It's all good. It's all good. It'll get there. It's just like it's hey, we're teaming up with the right people, using the right analytics, using the right uh, hashtags and keywords. For when people use the search engines and you pull up before our everybody. TikTok is blowing up. We get like 500,000 views and stuff all the time. You need to figure videos. out a way to correlate the two. So like that's, maybe that's Kaden. That's Kaden. Maybe show. put the YouTube in the bio. Is it? It's like yeah. Okay. We just started doing this, but we're trying. You know? YouTube is the hardest one to get a Big following yeah. because there's no cross platform of promotions. So like TikTok, I can share, I can repost, I can share to Instagram. I can tag all that. Instagram, I can reshare, share on stories, post, tag. There's a little YouTube is like you can't share YouTube on a YouTube. It doesn't work that way. It's no, there's no stream where you just yeah. you have to somehow fall within the suggested video of whatever the person's watching, and so it narrows the target down a lot harder to you know grab the attention to click and watch. Yeah, it's harder to get people to just go and watch your, your video out of nowhere. You know, you gotta team up with the right people, and do things that no one's doing that go viral and just kind of like set the tone like everybody sells sneakers but nobody does early release pairs travels and sells sneakers sell sneakers and does celebrity you know sneaker shopping I do you, all that so. you need to come to my shop you like it I, I do want, something I very to. similar in the, in the car world I want know? to I want to come there so, me and my guys want to you guys uh, need to come one day we gotta figure out something cool we can do and pull up there and I don't know maybe yeah, I told you it would be cool to put like an exotic car in the in the mall and fill it with shoes them. or something. They said that, that so, they did it that one time with what did you say Macy's or what? Who did you say they did it with? Somewhere, so I think or it was Tiffany Nordstrom. Or Nordstrom. Or Nordstrom. They said they did it one time, and you're right. Whatever company you told me they did it with, I asked them like, yeah, we did it with them. It was just a one-time deal. She said we couldn't do it. I wasn't. Uh, like, oh. Yeah, but it's complicated over there. So basically all we're going to do now is we're going to get him squared away with his shoes and uh, he's going to go surprise all his employees. And yeah, take a look around. You guys check it out. Show some cool B-roll and we can get this shit popping. Appreciate you, man. Let's okay, go so back to where we How spoke. much I owe you? Whatever. Let me pull it up real quick to see. Twenty-eight ninety. Twenty-eight. And then you want to do PayPal, Venmo, Cash App. Uh, Venmo. The most cool. Think how much I love these guys. What just happened? That's how much I love them. That's how much I love. Them. A little tip on top. Right, let's get your shit back. Well, we're good, right? Oh yeah, we're super good. Pleasure doing business with you. Thank you, sir. And we're gonna come check you guys out. We'll do a little. You have to. And everything I like would love to. Uh, you need some help, or you got it. I think I got it. Uh. Professional with this. Yeah. They're uh, they're gonna be happy. They better be. Yeah. <laughs> Man, it's going down. It's going down. What up, boys? 
Oh, that's a lot of shoes. Badass. Please come home. <laughs> Anyways, real quick, I just wanted to tell everybody thank you for working so hard. I wanted to say that I'm proud of everybody here and uh, just got them something, something small that I think you guys will like. So, I'm uh, like I said, I'm proud of everybody. They just keep working hard. Damn, this this has been in the works. You were a freaking problem in this. I'll tell you what. <laughs> Good ass feet. No way. Yeah, you're a size 12. That was hard. Yeah, that is hard. That was hard, yeah. They're too popular in that shit, that's why. Damn, fresh. Fresh kicks? What? Fresh kicks. So, so we need to start wearing those. <laughs> <laughs> I know where he got that info, what size we are. I know, right? Oh, yeah, those are right there. He's <laughs> for sizes. He's like, hey, how was school project? What size are you? Yeah, a friend of mine. Wait, when did you get mine? Doing, uh, I asked you. Oh, you're, yeah. just, you're the, the girly size, right? Eight? <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Hey, I'm proud, all right? Well, you're nine and a half, right? I'm nine and a half. You are nine and a half. Woo! Damn. What? What size were you, Papa? Who was 11? Damn! 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 I'll see you with that! Yo, can hey, we get a that's RPM new, pick? That's the newest stuff, dude. That's the newest one, it just came out last week. I was about to buy it. I was about to buy it. Me too! My, my boy, he owns the store and he, dude, I was like, hey, you need to put all of them matching. Like, he, he made it happen, so. Damn, I, I don't even want to wear these at work, bro. They're gonna get so fucked yeah, up. Yeah, what the Steven. fuck do you mean wearing these to work? Yeah, I just have to go out. Yeah, no. Okay, you didn't even know there was one for you. You shouldn't have. I, I, I knew all this time you didn't do it. I <laughs> really shouldn't have. What the God. fuck? That was a fucking sick, bro. Yeah, we all got matching easy. What the fuck? Oh, hey, that's, some, that's some flex shit. That's some flex. That's all flex. <laughs> that's, that's some flex, Loki. Damn. Yeah, this is like the newest, newest, newest. This, yeah, it came out last Wednesday. Yep. To put it on our store? It literally just came out. Yeah? Well, huh? dude, we could have gotten it before, but Victor decided to have a size 12. <laughs> so it was the hardest thing to find. <laughs> Carson literally just FaceTimed me the other day and he was like, hey, I got the new Yeezys, you should be able to have Carson. <laughs> he was like, I got him for free fish. That's actually his brother. Oh my god, Emily, so fresh. <laughs> <laughs> you literally didn't need anyone in this video except for Octavia. <laughs> Damn. Anyways, guys. Because they get perfect, but not so good. Thank you, Pato. I appreciate you, bro. Thank you. Uh, we were all like, Patrick's mad as fuck about something. Yeah, I was, I, was, I, was trying, I was trying to make it look like I was mad. I was like, hey, we got to get in. Uh, make sure I was wondering why you dressed up like that and everything today. You went to Oh, uh, that's why. Yeah, I knew it. Yeah, it was like he was out going out for the day in Miami again. I was doing some shopping, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, Damn. 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 A million dollars worth of shoes. Yeah, they make a lot of money. You got a car set too? How's that? Hey, now, he's, he's oh, exactly. Oh, no. <laughs> 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 I'm 